President Biden releasing his 2024 budget plan, calling for trillions of dollars in tax hikes and aiming to eliminate gas and oil industry subsidies. Joining us now is Republican Louisiana Senator Bill Cassidy. Senator, it's so great to have you on the program today. Thank you for joining us. Hey, thank you for having me. If we can dig right into the oil and energy situation and what we're facing in this country, the Wall Street Journal had a great article talking about how um, some of the companies are getting to uh, peak extraction on some of the wells that are out there, the mainstream wells. And so if we were going to continue to expand in this country, we'd have to invest more money into new wells and, and keep the process moving on. We've got the supply there, but the companies need to actually do it. So so if you're taking their subsidies away and they're already not incentivized to invest, I can't see this problem getting better. I only see it getting worse. But I'm curious what you think. It's absolutely true. And by the way, it's penny wise and pound foolish. <clears throat> they think let us kind of beat oil and gas down by whatever they think they're getting as a tax incentive. Excuse me. <coughs> but the degree that there is a scarcity of fuel is going to fuel inf inflation. We can either fuel our economy with affordable energy or we're going to fuel inflation by unaffordable energy. And their policies are working to make energy less affordable. It works against the pocketbook of the average American. I don't think they care. Senator, it's interesting. You've been talking a lot and tweeting a lot about Social Security as well. It is a debate that is a hot topic for you. What does responsible Social Security reform really look like? It means that the person who paid into the system her whole life, the program will be, be there for her. What the president is offering is no plan. George W., Obama, Clinton, they all offered plans to address this. This president, no plan. And no plan means that someone who paid into social her entire life is going to get a 24% cut in the benefits she's receiving when the program goes insolvent in nine years. We have to choose to do something, not choose to do nothing, which is what this mm. president is choosing to do. Senator, I want to get your take on this. This is U.S. Marine Sergeant Tyler Vargas Andrews attending yesterday's congressional hearings on the 2021 Afghanistan withdrawal, recounting how his warnings of a potential suicide bomber were ignored by leaders just minutes before the horrific blast at Kabul airport. Listen to this, please. Communication network, we passed that there was a potential threat and an IED attack imminent. Pointedly, we asked him for engagement authority and permission. We asked him if we could shoot. Our battalion commander said, and I quote, I don't know, end quote. Eventually, the individual disappeared. To this day, we believe he was a suicide bomber. In a massive wave of pressure, I'm thrown 12 feet onto the ground, but instantly knew what had happened. I opened my eyes to Marines dead or unconscious lying around me. Senator, it was just a phrase. I don't know. But to me, it encapsulates a lot of concerns about America's foreign policy right now and the fact that we are getting almost no accountability on what happened with Afghanistan. Your reaction to the Marines' testimony and what he's pointing to in terms of the issue? Yeah, my reaction is that you cannot bureaucratize a uh, dangerous situation. I'm a physician. Imagine that a patient suddenly went into a, a heart attack. I don't call the bureaucrat and say, do I have permission to do CPR? No, you act upon the emergency because you're trying to save a life. This Marine was trying to save lives. If we bureaucratize everything, you come up with a poor decision-making process. Now, I should refrain from that because I think I know, in fact, I do know, that many people in the bureaucracy urged President Biden not to withdraw the way that he withdrew, and he did it anyway. There is a pattern of failure this administration has when it comes to Afghanistan. And that came out very fully in that uh, panel hearing that we saw uh, yesterday. Thank you, Senator Cassidy, for your time today. We appreciate it. Hey, thank you.